Hey, I'm Garrett. And I'm Jacob. And this is Automotive Mods. Hey, and welcome to Automotive Mods. This week, we're installing a multi-point grounding kit. Grounding kits are great if you want to improve your alternator's output as well as throttle response. So, with that in mind, let's hit the garage. Okay. What are you going to need for this modification? A grounding block, several different lengths of wires, various screwdrivers with various different heads and sizes, ratchets and appropriate sockets, as well as some know-how. Was that cheap? That was cheesy. That's okay, no, okay. The first thing you want to do is to remove the grounding cable from your battery. Anytime you're doing any kind of electric work, make sure the battery is disconnected. I find it easiest before you start running any wires to remove all the bolts from the grounding block. That just makes it simpler when it comes time to put the wires in. To mount the block to the car, it comes with a bracket, but the bracket didn't come with any bolts, so I just used a 10mm bolt I had laying around and a washer to fasten it to the block. Make sure that both your bolt and washer are bare steel, or else your grounding kit will be pretty much useless. I chose to mount the first wire to the valve cover here, where this bolt holds in the wiring harness. I didn't worry about the plastic being there because the washer and the valve cover create a good connection. For our second grounding point, we're going to do it on the throttle body. Remove the intake pipe to get better access. Make sure that the grounding point is clear of any debris and if it's not, give it a quick sand with some light sandpaper. Then make sure to bolt it down securely so that way you don't have any vacuum leaks later on down the road. Feel free to add grounding points anywhere you feel necessary. To the chassis, to the engine block, or in this case here, we have it on the water neck. Now it's just a matter of connecting the wires to the grounding block. The two you see me doing first here are for the HIDs and the alternator, and the rest you just do in order. Finish it up by screwing on the cap. Choose a solid piece of bare metal to mount the grounding block to. Now reconnect your battery.
Make sure to clean up your workspace, checking underneath your hood for any loose parts or tools. Then, close your hood, slam down your hood pins, because you're done. If you don't have hood pins, get them, because they're awesome and add horsepower. Sexy. Well, there you have it. Just under an hour, a multi-point grounding kit. And I definitely noticed after driving the car that the throttle response has improved a little bit, but the main thing was consistent alternator output throughout the rev range. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, possibly share with your friends, and uh, we'll see you next time on Automotive Mods. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. <laughs>